today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my favorite lures made by many different lure companies. All of them catch many different fish. This one is my favorite spinnerbait ever. It's the Bass Pro Shop Laser Eye in Buzzbait. There are many different kinds of the Laser Eye. You gotta get the Buzzbait. And when you're using this lure, a lot of people will use it on top of the water, so this thing sprays water everywhere. Um, you gotta slow it back down and get it just underneath the surface of the water, so, and that's when bass hit it. Very good lure. Alright, this lure is the Repala Minnow Wrap in Bleeding Olive. Size 7. Dives seven to nine feet on a troll. Caught numerous walleye and muskie on this lure. A couple bass. Very, very good lure to troll with. Uh, very good lure. Now I have a chug bug by Storm. It's a topwater popper. And what sets it apart from all the other topwater poppers is that it's got a rattle inside of it. And a lot of other poppers don't have that. Some of them do. But this is still a very good lure. Very good for bass. As far as I know. I don't know if pike or muskie would hit it. I would assume they might. But if they don't, hey. I told you it's for bass. Now I have a Rapala Jointed Minnow. It's a size 5, dives 3 to 4 feet, I do believe, in gold. Catches bass. That's all I've ever caught on it is bass, but still. Very good lure. Now the Rapala jointed was modeled after the Rapala original floater. It's just a original, it's just the original floater with a joint. This particular original floater is a size three in brown trout. Dives one to three feet. It's a pretty small lure. It's not the smallest lure in the world, but. I'll be sh I'll be showing you the smallest lure that I know of in a second. Good for bass, panfish, crappie, all that good stuff. This is one of the smallest lures ever. It's the mean bean. This is actually a fairly large mean bean. They make them smaller than this. It's good for panfish like crappie. Caught 13 inch crappie on this buddy here. And bass, too. Very large bass, actually, too. It's the mean bean. Very, very good. Now I have the Mazula America um, Nano Minnow. I think you've probably never heard of a Mazula America. It's not a very common name. Some, I'm sure some of you have. They're not really known for their lures. They have sickle hooks, which are pretty good. You might have heard of them for that. But this lure dives one to th three to four feet, actually. And I've caught many big bass. In the clear water, you could see bass just dive straight for this lure. They swim straight for it and nail it. Very, very exciting lure. Very sharp hooks. And I also had one of their tournament diver. I lost that. Got a snag. Just couldn't get it out. I'm sad for that. When I was trolling the tournament diver, I um, caught a crappie, a perch, and a walleye all within 30 minutes of each other. Now I have... The Rapala Jointed Shad Wrap. 
This one's a perch, size 4. I caught walleye, muskie on this lure. Um, I don't like this color. This is the size you want, but that's the color you want, red crawdad. This is a size 5. This is a size 4. You want size 4 because it dives shallower. This one dives 4 to 6 feet. This one dives like 8 to 13. And where I troll, you want a shallower diving lure. If you troll where you want a deeper diving lure, then get this one. But if you want to troll shallow lakes, get this one. Because you won't get snagged as much. Both of them catch fish. I just prefer this one. Now I have a blade lure with a weighted bottom. This one's called the Cicada. There are different versions of this lure made by different companies. Um, all different sizes, all different weights for many, many different kind of fish. There are panfish versions. Um, this particular one I use for walleye. And when you're using this kind of lure, you have to use a snap swivel or some other kind of swivel because if you don't, your line's going to get tangled because of the action of this lure. But, still a very good lure. Highly recommended. I have an inter interesting story about this lure. My uncle was trolling with this lure and he caught a 30 pound flathead. 30 pound, 3 feet long. This thing could have swallowed a softball easily. And he caught it on an ugly stick, an ultralight ugly stick. Yeah, no, that was it was bending the rod, doubled over. I'm surprised the rod didn't break, but that's what the ugly stick is known for, being the most bendable rod in America. So this is a fairly cheap lure, very very good. I highly recommend it. Trolling, trolling it. This is very good. Now I have a wacky worm. You're probably thinking, what the heck is a wacky worm? What the heck? Well, a wacky worm is a bass lure that it when you cast it out, what you have to do is kind of like jig it in like that, and then it'll flap around like this in the water. And to do that, you have to get a circle hook and stick it in the middle. Now, when you're using the circle so hooks, you have to let the fish take it. You cannot set the hook or else it will get away. And that's probably why I haven't... I'm not used to using circle hooks. And that's why I haven't caught any fish on the wacky worm. But I have gotten so many hits on it. If I just learned to use the circle hook, this weedless circle hook, I would catch so many fish on this. But I don't know how to use a circle hook. So I don't catch fish on the wacky worm, which is sad. But still, many, 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 many hits on it. Very good, cheap, plastic lure. I just wish I knew how to use a circle hook.